celebrating Omani Women's Day on Merge with Rumetha. As we're leading into Omani Women's Day, I had the pleasure to speak with five phenomenal women who represent the diversity of the stories we hear every day. From a mother who fought her way to go back to school after 27 years, to professionals in male-dominated positions, to a frontliner who contracted COVID and came out stronger. This is their stories. Beida Zijali is a close friend of mine, and I have personally witnessed her growth. We have traveled together and pursued adventures together, and there's a special bond of sisterhood that comes from such experiences. Beida is not only an adventurer who walked the empty quarter from the south to the north in around 50 days, she's also an engineer who works in construction. From a stereotype perspective, she works in a male-dominated industry. So I asked her, as an Omani woman, how was she able to maneuver through this? So the interesting thing is I was brought up in an environment where we were not taught whether something is stereotypical, male or female. I only found out when I was in university in the UK and realized that most of my colleagues were males. The truth is that at the end of the day, whether you're male or female, what is important is that how you perform. I love going to construction sites, especially during the beginning of my career. For me, that was my big learning curve. I did face stereotyped comments from people you know, out and about, but I also got a lot of support from my surrounding cousins and my aunt. You know, they're, they're in, let's say, not construction, but also in male-dominated industries. For a lot of people, a money woman in construction is office-based, when that is not true. I asked Beida if she would elaborate what's the nature of her job. My job entails both um, managing the design process and also managing the construction process. So yes, I do have some days in the office, but I do have other days where I have to go to the site, have site meetings, monitor the work on site, coordinate efforts on the site itself. And you know, the truth is I love it. And I can't see any reason why any woman would not be able to do it. Honestly, it's not viewed as something that I could or would do. So let's talk about judging a book by its cover. We have all gone through a fair share of criticism and undermining our abilities based on either our looks or gender. People have decided you are one thing when in fact you are another. Beida is not only in construction, but she also has walked a whopping 760 kilometers across the empty quarter. And people still don't believe that she did so. So I asked her, what was her take on this? This is a really, really important point. And this was the main message for our expedition, you know, breaking stereotypes. And no matter what these stereotypes are, and we're not talking only here about gender, but we're also talking about looks, we're talking about physique, we're talking about when you see someone, don't decide based on their looks. Or when I was in the UK, I wear a scarf, it's probably this or that. Or here in Oman, maybe people see me out there. I'm you know, a bigger girl and they might decide that she can't do this or she can't hike. And the truth is I walked 760 kilometers across the world's largest sand desert. So I always say, don't judge a book by its cover. You know, dis- discover what that person and who that person is. You might think something and it might be completely different. At the end of the day, as humans, we share emotions, we share feelings, we share a lot of things in common and it's unfair to decide before you know the person how and what they are capable of or incapable of. This is really, really important. And one of the most inspiring stories for me was that I think a lot of people maybe outside the region think that Bedouin women are maybe weak. We met the Bedouins. We were surprised to find out that their grandmother had heard about rains in Kuwait and she just packed her bags and camels and she walked all the way from Al Manadar in the middle of the empty quarter in Oman all the way to Kuwait. I bet you that most people who would have met her first time today would not have thought that she would be able to do something like that. So never, never judge a book by its cover. Lastly, I asked her if she had any pearls of wisdom she wanted to share. And this is what she had to say. For every woman and man out there, for every young or old person out there, whatever you believe you are capable of doing, whatever you feel in your heart that you want to do, and no matter how difficult that is, okay, it doesn't matter, okay, because what really matters is you setting your mind to achieve it. 
I decided to work in an industry that is male dominated, but didn't matter to me because I always thought that I am capable of it and I am capable of it. And the only thing that would hinder my progression through this industry would be myself, no, nobody else. I mean, yes, there are challenges that are at the moment part of the job for me. I've had situations where the person that employed me wasn't sure because I was a female and then he was really surprised because I probably did better <laughs> than other people that he could have employed. So just go for it, no matter what it is, just go for it. You know, make your dreams come true, whatever they are. Omani Women's Day with Rumetha on Merge. Brought to you by BMW. Season of Style. Take October by storm with exciting offers on your new BMW.